Hello everyone, now let's do another unboxing. Let's go ahead and unbox these two accessories for Catan. Here we have the trading post, and then we have these uh, Hexadox base sets. These will be for the roads and for the cities. I hope you get value from this video. Thank you for watching on Table Greatness. Here it says, get me settled and start the trade. It says roll supply trade on the side here. Now from what I can feel here, the this box is very soft to the feel, kind of like velvet. You can see it has the Catan engraved right on the box. And it feels uh, pretty good, pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy box, uh, even on the bottom and on the sides. It feels pretty sturdy itself. So this is magnetic. Here it has also engraved in gold uh, the Catan logo. Also here on the bottom we have the Catan engraved. And it also has this felt feeling on the inside. It feels really good. And then you keep opening it up. This becomes a dice tray. We just fold the sides like this. All right. So they kind of automatic just snap together. It looks pretty nice. Sometimes when you don't have enough space on, on the table you're playing at, a dice tray is nice to have. So you don't have to roll on top of the board and get any of the tokens messed up. So this is definitely a nice touch to have something to roll the dice on. And then the place where you put some of the cards is here. And it does have these metal connectors that connect the top and the bottom. And they make the top and the bottom slide back and forth. So you can put the cards in and have easy access to uh, grabbing the cards. And then to, to close it, push that, close the bottom, take your top, and then put it onto the side here, and it closes. Pretty cool. All right, so we'll get our our trading post here and see how all the cards fit inside. But first, let's try out the dice tray. Roll the dice. Looks good. Now let's see the trading post. A good uh, a little accessory to have keep your stuff organized and as a matter of fact if you wanted to keep your cards in there why not keep them in there and let's throw the dice in there why not close it up and there you go now all your cards and your dice are in one little box now when you're ready to play just take it out have your dice tray ready trading post is done and you're ready to play all right so what if you have sleeved cards for Catan all right so I have here some of the some of the cards sleeved and if you really wanted to get more deep into it there are these Catan official accessory sleeves that fit the cards pretty nicely let's see how they look sleeve sleeve cards in here and how much space they take These are the sleeved cards for Catan. They take up more space, but it's the trading post is still tall enough to accommodate the, uh, the sleeved cards. And by using the official accessory sleeves, they fit pretty good inside the trading post. There's no rubbing up against the sides and you can slide them out even on the bottom. The sleeve cards fit well and they fit nicely also. You could also close them. 
ahead and put everything away. There you go. Nice accessory to have for Catan. All right, now let's open these. So initial thoughts on this, they feel pretty heavy. So these boxes are are clear and they have the Catan engraved right on the plastic here. And they actually are the size of the hexagons themselves. And it does feel good, it does feel like good quality. And you could also put it right on the bottom. So it doesn't take any more space on your table than just this accessory, which is a nice touch. It's a nice color orange. Orange is my favorite color, so this is very, very nice looking. Now let's take a look at how these uh, cities and roads all fit into these little bases here. So they fit pretty nicely in there. Now if you're on the board or if you're playing on the table, it looks something like this. You'll be able to grab a city, put it in where it goes, a road or settlement. So they're easy to grab. And then let's put the top on. So I'm gonna line it up with the Catan here, the engraved logo with the logo here in the same direction. So those little uh, rivets or sections that were on the top hold the houses down in place because the cities are tall enough that if you tilt it upside down, it doesn't fall out of place. Even though I do see that some of them have flipped over sideways. You would have to line up these notches here on the side so that they lock into place. If you don't do that, then if you do this, they'll just pop out. But as you can see, I'm shaking it nothing comes out it stays in place so when you're, when you're ready to play pop it out but maybe not at an angle then your everything just falls out and then comparing it to one of the hexagon pieces for the game it's the same size yeah so pretty cool accessory these are nice accessories to have for your game of Catan they're made of good quality materials, they feel nice, they feel deluxe, and these upgrades provide a great way to organize and store your accessories for the game. Now this is an accessory that I would recommend just keeping at home, because if you wanted to play at a friend's house or at a family's house, carrying all these accessories can be a little bit cumbersome. These accessories do not fit in the standard box of Catan. As a matter of fact, the trading post stands about a centimeter above the standard box. And the only way you can get the hexadox into the box is by removing the insert that comes in the box. But if you wanted a way to keep your pieces organized and contained and have some good accessories for it, I definitely recommend these products. I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. There are more unboxing videos in the channel Dun dun dun!